Mike Bartos, and this is our PR platform. Our PR platform is a multi-purpose deadlift training platform. It has a lot of different uses, and we'll talk about the bands first. For bands over the bar, it has five different positions. The lowest position is gonna give traditional uh, amounts of tension is, is a lot of people have been training on for decades. But as you work up, there's varying heights. There's gonna be band settings about two inches above the bar at 11 inches, and those are gonna increase all the way up until about 25 inches off the ground. It also has reverse band options. On the reverse bands, there's four different positions for bands under the bar, and there's also a front band hook to pull the bar away from you and cause you to be extra locked in on the front banded attachment. So here we have the band set up on our third peg up. We have uh, you know, a, a short mini band, and we're gonna be getting tension just about two inches over where the bar is placed. The front band attachment is gonna pull the bar away from you throughout the entire lift and cause you to be locked in during the entire range of motion. Now, like I said, this is a lot more than just a band training platform. This platform also has seven different positions for rack pulls, starting at just about two inches off the ground, and they increase two inches per hole all the way up to uh, the top of the upright at 24 inches. Besides the pin pulls, we also have this optional Russian attachment, and this is a really great training tool to build the hamstrings. This is an exercise that I found through uh, Misha Kokliev and Boris Shiko. You keep your shins up against the bar the entire time to help keep a vertical shin angle, and uh, it places a lot of stress on the posterior chain. So this is our Russian attachment. This attachment can go through any of the, the seven holes working up the back upright. You simply grab the, the attachment, slide it in, and it locks in with nuts on the back side of the upright. Once it's in, you could step into the platform, keep your shins up against the bar the entire time, which helps you keep a vertical shin angle and puts a large amount of stress on the hamstrings. So right now the bands are set up on their lowest setting. This is gonna provide a similar amount of resistance as people have been used to on other platforms you know, over the course of the last few years. Now, one of the advantages on this platform is you're not limited to just the lowest setting. You can vary uh, resistance as you travel up through the range of motion. So you could set this band at different heights. Like for me, I'm a little weak around my knee. So I usually set up slightly below it. So I'm getting an abrupt load right where I'm at my weakest. And this is a setup that I like to call stacked bands. So there's gonna be tension on the bottom and then an abrupt load right in my weakest position. And even with 135 on the bar, that provides a, a lot of tension at lockout. Now, one of my favorite things about our PR platform is the ease of setup for reverse band lifting. As you can see here, we have some short bands on the third peg up on the upright. You're gonna have the bar deloading down on the ground, and then there's gonna be an abrupt load being dropped on you right above that third peg up. It's a very easy setup, and it's very predictable is where the weight's gonna be deloaded. So as I said, this is a multi-purpose platform. And one of the great things about this is, is you don't even necessarily need to be training with bands to utilize it. Here we have a bar set up on a pin two pool and no bands on the bar. Uh, it's easy to slide on a deadlift platform so you're not eating up an entire rack in your gym. And here the plates are gonna be elevated just about four inches off the ground.